Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Overwatch 2 with these best settings to optimize your FPS, fix lags, stutter, input latency, and a lot more. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is as usual the essential window settings. And for that, head over to settings on your PC and then go over to gaming. Once you're here, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned on consumes a lot of CPU utilization, ultimately reducing your FPS. Simply turn this thing off and it will help you to gain extra FPS. Head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on ultimately gives you better FPS and right beneath that you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then head over to change default graphic settings. Over here you have to enable both hardware expert and GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game and reduce your input latency. Once you're done with that, head back to graphics and then click on the browse button and add your game into this. Once you find your game, click on the overwatch.exe and then click on add. If it is already added into your list, search for it and then click on options and then select high performance and then click on save. Now let's move to step number two, that is compatibility settings. And for that, head over to the download location of your game. And once you're here, select overwatch.exe, right click on that, head over to properties, then select compatibility, then click on disable full screen optimizations, and then click on change high DPI settings, Select override high DPI scaling behavior and then click on OK and then click on apply. Step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for your local disk C. Click on create and name it overwatch just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step just to make sure every settings can be reverted back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, you can click on close and then close system properties. Next step is the Overwatch 2 Season 12 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and you can alternatively join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here, you'll find in six simple folders Let's start with the first one that is CPU Priority, in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU Priority. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU Priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU Priority. Second folder is the Overwatch 2 Priority, in which I have left the Overwatch 2 High Priority. You can double click and run that. Third one is the RAM Optimization, in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. You can run the RAM preset according to yourself. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to run this one, but it can be different for you, so you can apply that or you can reset it back to default if that doesn't work out well for you guys. Fourth folder is the most important one which is the programs in which I have left three programs. First one is the cache cleaner. You have to right click on this as administrator and this will start deleting all of the temporary files of your PC. These files are created by programs temporarily and once you close them, these are not really needed so you can delete them safely. Let it run in the background and let's move with memory duct. You can simply install it on your PC and then look for memory duct. And here is how memory duct actually works. As you guys can see that I have 32% utilization of my RAM and as soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, you guys can see that this falls down immediately. Memory duct actually helps you to free up your RAM, allowing you to gain extra FPS and I recommend you guys to run it each time you open up your game. Last is quickcpu.msi your hand. Last is quickcpu.msi and you can run this and open quick cpu on your pc now once it opens up you have to select the system power plan you guys can go with ultimate performance or high performance if that is available and then click on this active button right over here slide all of the core parking index frequency index turbo boost and performance index all the way up to 100 percent to ensure that your cpu is running on maximum throttle and don't forget to click on the apply button over here then also click on this maximum performance button available over here and then click on accept click on ok and that should be it your pc will now be utilizing maximum CPU resources to render your game to be utilized in the game. Next is the unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services and if you by chance use any Bluetooth devices, do not disable your Bluetooth devices. But other than that, I highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of this and it will ultimately help you to stop unwanted services running in the background to gain extra FPS. Once again, if you want to revert any of these back, you can always use this folder. Last is the input lag fix in which I have left keyboard fix. For this, I want you guys to comment your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Head back to mouse latencies and in here you'll find fixed mouse delay. Every single one of you have to apply this on your PC. This will fix your mouse coordinates to improve the accuracy. And next is disable pointer precision globally. And if you guys are using trackpad, do not use this. Only do this if you have a physical mouse unit. Once you're done with the FPS pack, you can simply close it. And now let's move to the next step that is disabling sysmain. 
and for that you have to search for services.msc on your pc and once you're here press on the s button over on your keyboard and then look for sysmain right click on that head over to properties and then make sure that the startup type is set to disable and if the service is already running click on stop click on apply and restart your pc once Sysmain consumes a lot of CPU utilization and disabling that will help you to gain extra FPS. Next is boot configuration and for that simply search for msconfig on your PC and once this window opens up, head over to boot, click on advanced option, select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available on your PC. Then head over to services and then click on hide all Microsoft services and then you have to disable all unwanted services such as Adobe update service, fan control service, RGB service, browser update service, printer service if you don't use it, MySQL and other services that you're aware of. Once you did with that, simply click on apply. Next step is fixing all of your ping issues, packet loss, latency and input delay using no ping. You can download this from the link in the description below. Once you open up this application, it should look like this and it offers you over 300 games to choose from. You can simply look up for Overwatch in this list and once you find it, click on select the server and look for the nearest server for yourself. For me, that will be Amsterdam 03 and as soon as I click on optimize this game, it will one click optimize my game, allowing my PC to connect to the game servers without any hindrance. The best part about no ping is a settings gear over here which offers you turbo game to improve your keyboard's response time and a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable these settings you can actually gain extra FPS in the game. I highly recommend you guys to go check out Noping from the link in the description below. Next step is setting up your virtual memory and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then head over to the advanced section. Then click on virtual memory and then click on change. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and you'll have to enter 1361 as your initial size in megabytes and for the maximum size open up calculator on your PC and then multiply your total RAM with 1024. For me it is 32 GB so I can multiply that and the value that I get over here I have to divide this by 2 and I have to paste this value in the maximum size. Don't forget to click on set and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. Once you're done with that you can head over into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to options then in the video settings make sure that you're always on full screen and you're using a native monitor resolution with the highest refresh rate possible for the aspect ratio keep it your native aspect ratio dynamic render scale should be turned on and then a render scale should be set to custom minimum in-game resolution should be set to 80 percent and in-game resolution should be set to 95 percent this will help you to gain extra fps Frame rate limit should be set to custom and the desired frame rate limit should be set to maximum and the maximum frame rate limit should also be set to maximum. Vsync should be turned off, triple buffering should be turned off, reduced buffering should be turned on, Nvidia reflex keep it on plus boost and other than all of these settings, rest are user preference. Head over to the graphics quality and then here go over to custom quality, high quality upsampling, set this thing to FSR 2.2 or you can also go with DLSS super resolution, both of them will work absolutely fine. Texture quality, set this thing to high. Texture filtering quality, set this thing to medium. Local fog detail, low. Model detail, medium. Shadow detail, off. Effect detail, low. Lightning quality, low. Refraction quality, low. Screenshot quality, 1x resolution. Ambient occlusion, off. Dynamic reflections, off. Local reflections, off. And damage FX, off. Once you're done with that, simply apply these settings and you're good to go. And these are all the best settings for Overwatch 2. I hope this guide helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really takes a lot of efforts creating all of these videos and getting that out to you guys. Also consider getting the membership because they offer a lot of perks which are really beneficial. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.